Nicole Jackson and here we are in the kitchen with Chef Paul and we're here to introduce to you my Bo Jackson 34 beef line. And now Chef Paul is here to teach not only you but myself also the tips and the tricks of creating the perfect steak. All right, bro, so we're gonna jump right into cooking the perfect steak. There's a couple really key things you have to do before the steak here actually hits the pan. Okay. Number one, you have to start with a really high quality piece of meat, mm -hmm. and this only works with your Bo Jackson's line of beef, go. okay? There you go. Um, second, you have to make sure this piece of meat is dry, because moisture is the enemy of pan searing. And the last trick here is bring that meat to room temperature before you start to cook it. It'll stay more tender, it'll stay juicier. That's gonna be a beautiful steak. So we're gonna cook this to medium rare. I wanna show how to make a skirt steak because a lot of people are scared of skirt steak. It's usually overcooked, and yeah. then when they do that, they don't know how to slice it. Exactly. Uh, for the home cook, I always recommend starting in a cold pan because I'm gonna put my oil in there. Most oils, they smoke anywhere between 350 to 375, right? So we're gonna use our oil here as a thermostat. I'm gonna mm -hmm. turn my burner up to high, and the minute this starts to barely smoke, we're ready to start cooking. Gotcha. If I put my meat in there any time before that, this meat is gonna stick. And the key here as well is season it right before you cook it. If you season this too early, all that salt naturally brings out the moisture. So salt and black pepper on a great steak, that's all you need. And here's another thing. I'm gonna throw this only on one side of my pan. When I flip, flip it, it over, you wanna put, you wanna put it it's in like I cooked in two brand new saute pans. Oh. Now here's the hardest part, Bo. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. All right, so the way you know whether you're ready to flip this or not is peak. And when you flip your meat, you're going to flip it in the other side because it's like we have brand new Absolutely. pan. Absolutely. And then always lay the meat away from yourself. Because right? you don't want away the splatter. Yeah, because I don't, don't want to burn splatter. up my arms. And then, now again, dude, the hardest part. Is wait. We just gotta hang out. I'm soaking this up like <laughs> a sponge, a man. Something. I'm a sponge. Okay, let's jump right in here to the sous vide. I know you love the sous vide. I, I, hey, hey, I learned a new trick. And what do you guys call this again? That is a baseball cut baseball fillet. Cut. And okay. this is actually how it comes. Absolutely. So when you get it delivered, you can literally take this and, and throw it right in your sous vide. Pop, pop it right and start in your cooking sous vide. It. All you do is you turn it you to 130 degrees. Put it on 130 degrees. For the two hours. Let's show them how we actually can do it within a food saver bag here. There or you sous vide, go. Right? Just a little salt pepper. Put a little salt pepper on it. And let's throw that bad boy and right in there. Slide it right in and the and back. Since we have some fresh rosemary as a garnish, let's just throw that thing in there too. And the optic is to get as much air out of this as you can. And once you do that, drop it in the sous vide machine and forget it. Now what we have to do is we're gonna season this once again with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're gonna pan sear this. So now we can see this hair is beginning to smoke. We can place that oh. piece of uh, steak on one side, just one side of the meat like that. And then again, the hardest part about about cooking this is don't mess with not it. Not messing with it. Oh yeah. There you go. Flip it on the other side. Look at that. So now it's seared on all sides here, both. And we don't want to cut this immediately, right? Let it breathe. The great thing about sous vide is we don't have to worry about cooking this all the way through the middle. Absolutely. Because it's cooked. All right, so our steak is ready to go. You ready yes, to eat? Yes, I'm, right, I'm ready to eat. So here's the secret with the skirt steak. People want to cut it with the grain and it's mm. chewy. You want to actually take off a nice couple of inches this way. You want to turn it and then slice it against the grain. And then we're going to just drizzle over the top of this, your honey, smoke, bacon, jam here. God, that's chilling. Ooh. What I'm thinking is I'm twice your size, so I just may take all of this and <laughs> eat for myself. This, this is outstanding. And I'm going to make sure that this is properly disposed <laughs> of. Oh, you're going to clean up? I'm a little helpful, and I'm going to take care of this for you. Those two steaks were good. They were fantastic. Actually, if I had a cot right now, I'd be laying down on it. But the thing that I want to tell you about these steaks is that they are part of the Bo Jackson's 34 Beef line. Now, all of these products are being produced by my manufacturing partner, Grand Western, out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. They are producing for my line a top butt baseball cut fillet, bone-in ribeye, the regular ribeye, tenderloin center cut, a sirloin center cut, sirloin top butt. We have a skirt steak, and the big daddy of them all, we have a tomahawk steak. Now, all of these products can be produced to your liking. If you want a steak at six ounces, they can do it. If you want a steak at 32 ounces, they can produce that for you. Now, our distribution partner is Cheney Brother, and they can distribute to you wherever you are in the Southeast. So what are you waiting for? You want a good steak, you know where to get it. And we're looking forward to bigger and better things with these products.